Hey guys, so um, today we are going to be looking at finding the mass of objects and mass is how much um, matter is in an object and it's similar to finding the weight. So we find it by using um, mass little weights to see how much it is. Now normally you'd be able to pick up things and um, be able to feel and estimate the mass that way. But since you can't come into school and you don't have those objects um, to compare them, I'm just going to ask that you kind of go around your house and compare some items to some of our benchmark um, objects that we're going to be talking about today. So our goal is I can estimate the mass of objects and solve number stories that involve finding the mass. So I wanted to watch this brain prop video because I feel like it is um, a good explanation of what mass is and it gives you some really good examples of the different types of mass. So I'm going to play this and then we'll get right back into it. Flavored chips. Hmm. This has 10 grams of fat and only 2 grams of protein. What is mass? Everything around us is made of matter. Yep, you and I are both made of matter. Even the air we breathe is made of matter. Mass is the amount of matter in something. Since all things are made up of matter, all things have mass. We use metric units like grams and kilograms to measure mass. What are grams? A paper clip has a mass of about one gram. A pen cap also has a mass of about one gram. Right, a peanut is about one gram too. Moby, I think an average strawberry is greater than one gram. Let's measure to find out for sure. Let's see, this strawberry has a mass of seven grams. The abbreviation for grams is G. This apple has a mass of 192 grams, so its mass is greater than the strawberry's mass. You can use a balance scale to measure mass. Uh, not quite, Moby. A balance scale has a beam with a container on each end. When you put something on one end, the beam tips. Each of these is one gram. You add them one by one on the other end of the scale until the beam is even. Most scales have a guide that tells you when it's balanced. So the mass of this raspberry is about three grams. What are kilograms? One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. A baseball bat, a dictionary, a pineapple, and a bag of flour are each about one kilogram. This cantaloupe has a mass of about two kilograms. The abbreviation for kilograms is kg. This watermelon has a mass of about five kilograms. This tiger has a mass of about 213 kilograms. Moby, where did you get that? You got it in aisle three? Which unit should you use when you measure mass? When you measure mass, think about what unit you want to use. Grams are good units when you measure things with smaller masses. I know a carrot is less than one kilogram, so it's better to measure it in grams. 
for larger things and makes more sense to measure in kilograms. Alright, you can measure people in kilograms. Anyway, Moby, those sock flavored chips aren't very healthy. What are you eating now? Toe cheese doodles. Yuck! Okay, so we're going to use some of those things that Moby and Annie measured in the video to help us understand how much um, mass an object has. So just real quick, matter is what makes up all things. So everything is made up of matter. Mass is the amount of matter in something. So the mass of a cherry might be 22 grams pretty small. The mass of a plum might be 66 grams and the mass of a bunch of grapes might be 420, 425 grams. A gram is a unit of mass. There are a thousand grams in a kilogram. The abbreviation for gram is G. A kilogram is a unit of mass equal to 1000 grams. The abbreviation for kilogram is kg. A balance scale is a scale with a tilting beam that measures or compares the weight or mass of an object. So I wanted to think about some of those objects that we mentioned that was mentioned in the video and I'm going to create this chart and this is in your math journal so you're going to go to that page. You can write some of these things down as a reference for you to be able to go back and look at as you're completing your work. So we're going to estimate the mass of objects and then record the names of the objects in the columns below based on your estimate. So we have a column for about one gram. We have a column for more than one gram and less than a hundred or one kilogram. So remember one kilogram is a thousand grams. So more than one gram but less than a thousand grams. And then we have a column for about one kilogram. So one of the things that is about a gram is a paper clip. So we know that if we pick up a paper clip, that's about one gram. It's very light. Also, a peanut is about one gram. If we were to pick up a peanut in the shell, it is going to be about one gram. And the pin cap, so the lid that you put on a pin, is also about one gram. Something that is more than a gram but less than a kilogram could be a strawberry. It is nowhere near a kilogram, but a strawberry is a couple grams. It is pretty light. An apple would be more than a gram and less than a kilogram. Um, still not close to a kilogram, but it is more than the strawberry. Something that is about a kilogram is a baseball bat. A dictionary could also be close to a kilogram and a pineapple could also be close to a, a kilogram. So as you're thinking about picking up different objects and trying to estimate the mass of something, you can use these um, items to decide whether or not it is close to a gram, more than a gram, more than a kilogram, less than a kilogram. You're gonna use these ideas to kind of help you figure out how much the mass could be. So let's look at a couple. We have a dog here. And I know that the tiger in the video was like 371 kilograms. And so I know that that's pretty heavy. I also know that Moby's and Annie's um, grandpa was 80 kilograms when he j stepped on the scale. And this puppy is definitely not as, as much as her grandpa. So I would say this puppy is about 20 kilograms. A can of soup. Um, so we know that um, Maybe the strawberry is about four grams. So a can of soup isn't four grams. Um, 40 grams 
could be something, but I'm thinking the apple is closer to 40 grams, and I know that my can of soup is going to be more than like an apple. So I would say that this can of soup is about 400 grams. All right, a baby. So again, we know that Moby or Annie's grandpa was about 80 kilograms. So we definitely know the baby is not 300 kilograms. Um, three kilograms um, would probably still be too small. A baby would probably be more than two baseball bats or three baseball bats. So I'm going to say that the baby is going to be about 30 kilograms. All right, thinking about a basketball. So six grams, again, I'm thinking about that strawberry that was like three or four grams. Basketballs are gonna be a lot more than just one, one or two strawberries. Um, the 6,000 grams, remember, would be like um, six kilograms, so it would be like six baseball bats. And I know that my basketball does not weigh six baseball bats. So I would say it is close to 600 grams. A pencil. So again, thinking about um, other objects that we could use, um, 500 grams is half of a kilogram. So like half of a um, baseball bat, I think the pencil is going to be less than that. And in fact, I know that a pencil is really, really light. And I'm thinking about a pencil, could it be about the same mass as maybe five peanuts? To me, that makes sense because a pencil is not that heavy. So a pencil would be about five grams. A mouse, thinking about the grams of a mouse. Well, a mouse being 2,500 grams, that would be like two and a half kilograms. So that would be two and a half baseball bats. I definitely know a mouse is not 2,500 grams. And then thinking about grams, 25 grams, um, I don't know, like maybe 25, but I feel like 25 is going to be too small. And so I'm thinking more like 250 grams, closer to how much um, some some of those fruits would be. All right, so part of our objective was to solve number stories. And so um, this is in your book on page um, 29. And we are going to use what we know um, to solve this problem. So in your SRB, um, on page 271, there is a great chart that shows you the mass of a whole bunch of different types of balls. If you wanted to use this, you could go to your um, Everyday Math website and click on your books at the top, and it would um, take you to your resource book. So from the resource book, I found out that one soccer ball has a mass of about 425 grams. Dylan carries two soccer balls outside for gym class. What is the mass of the two soccer balls together? So before I even begin this, I know that I want to use cubes. So I'm going to write my cubes out right here. And I know this because it is a number story. So that's why I'm writing this out. Um, I'm going to circle my numbers. So I have 425 and then he carried two of them. And um, I'm going to underline the question. What is the mass of two soccer balls? I'm going to check that off. And then I'm going to look for boxing in my key words. Um, one soccer ball has a mass of 425. He carries two. Um, at the very end, it says, what's the mask of the two balls together? Now, when I see this word together, it makes me think of addition. So addition is what I'm going to be doing. Um, as I'm evaluating it, again, I want to do addition. And I'm not adding 425 plus 2. 
I'm adding the two soccer balls together. So I know that one soccer ball is 425 and another soccer ball is 425. So I'm going to add those two pieces together in order to find out the mass of the two soccer balls. So I would write my numbers. I like to write them vertical so that I can add up my, t my ones, my tens, and my hundreds. And so I would say five plus five is 10. And I have to bring my other, the 10 in there to the tens column. So I have two plus two is four plus one more is five. And then I have four plus four is eight. So my answer, the mass of two soccer balls together would be 800 and 50. Um, I'm going to look at solving the next one and what I want to do is go through the same steps. I'm going to erase some of this so that I am out of the way and I can see my word problem, all of it together. And I'm going to use cubes again. So I'm going to write down my cubes right down here. And I'm going to go through and read my story. One golf ball has a mass of about 43 grams. Keisha can juggle three golf balls. If she drops one golf ball, what is the mass of the remaining balls? So I'm going to look for my numbers. Now, sometimes numbers aren't just written out with the numbers. They can be spelled out too. So I can see 43, 3, but I also see this word one. And so I need to underline my questions in here. What is the mass of the remaining balls? Now I want to um, box in my keywords. So we know one is 43, she juggles them, she drops one. So that makes me think of something. She's not gonna have as many. And then it says that they want to know the remaining balls. So I need to, the remaining balls would be subtraction. So I think I'm going to be subtracting. I'm going to do some evaluating. So I'm just going to draw my pictures to kind of help me out here. I know that one golf ball is 43. And she can juggle three of them. So I'm going to draw three of um, my golf balls. Each of them have 43 grams. So I've got that. But then it says that she drops one and it wants to know the remaining. So if she drops one, I got to get rid of this. So I'm taking away that one, but I want to know how much those other two are together. So part of me said subtraction. I subtracted by getting away and only having two balls. So I did three minus one is two but I still need to know these two together. So I'm going to say 43 plus 43, add my ones, three plus three is six, add my tens, four plus four is eight. So my answer is about 86 grams. And I solved it. So we're going to be doing a couple problems like this as your work. And, um, you have three different assignments. You've got um, a page where you will see pictures and then you will have to pick the correct measurement. You have your math boxes, so you've got some different activities, different um, types of questions to solve there. And then you have your home link where you are going to be looking at number stories to solve the problems. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know.